Okay, joining us now is the extraordinary, phenomenal, hardest working man in show business and for the city of Mesa, Mayor John Giles. Tony, good to be here. Good to be back at the Chamber of Commerce Christmas tree uh, in, the middle, in the heart of downtown Mesa, uh, kicking off Mary Main Street. You know, Mary Main Street uh, went away for a while. We now have a phenomenal Christmas tree back, four stories high. Thank you very much, all you guys getting that back for the citizens. And uh, now that uh, Mary Main Street is back and better than ever in an exciting new episode in 2022, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's on the agenda for that? You bet. This is the, the eighth year since we've uh, brought back Mary Main Street. You can tell the festive attitude of, of environment in downtown Mesa. This is fun to be alive in downtown Mesa. Uh, and, and Mary Main Street has gotten a little bit better every year, and I think hopefully it'll continue to do that. Uh, so we're very fortunate to have this beautiful uh, uh, downtown Christmas tree. Thank you, Mesa Chamber of Commerce. Uh, if, I've, I've told people the best family picture you will ever take will be in front of this Christmas tree, because uh, particularly at nighttime, <laughs> people are dancing in the streets now. We appreciate the, uh, the lowrider that's at the intersection right now. Uh, at, at, at nighttime particularly, this thing just lights up. So if you don't, uh, I mean, we're, the reason we do Mary Main Street in the first place is to create a place for families to come to have memories, right? I, I have amazing memories as a child uh, growing up in, in downtown Mesa of, and uh, around the holidays. And we would, back then, there wasn't a lot of exciting things to do in, in downtown Mesa. Uh, but every year, the city would put wonderful decorations on the, the outside Christmas lights. And so the family literally, would, we'd, the dad would throw us in the car and we'd drive up and down Main Street just looking at the lights. Uh, and then for generations, we've had uh, you know, a, a big attraction out at the LDS Temple you know, on, at the end of, of Main Street. So uh, for years, a lot of people have come to downtown Mesa to celebrate the holidays. And we just want to double down on that, right? We want to make sure that everybody has uh, uh, something to do in addition to the, the temple lights or the Christmas tree or the ice rink, that it all kind of syncs together. So walk us through uh, the next two and a half weeks. Yeah. Uh, obviously, this is the focal point for uh, our yeah. celebration of Christmas. Right. And what other events do we have to look forward to? So Santa will be here every uh, Friday and Saturday uh, up through uh, Christmas and, and including Christmas Eve. Uh, and then the, the ice rink that's... Wait a minute, located. wait a minute. How does that work? He's here on Christmas Eve? Well, he's going to knock off early on Christmas ah, Eve. Apparently, okay. he's got other things to do <laughs> Christmas Eve. Got uh, it. So I, that, that might be a union thing, you know, that he gets, gets that night off, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, you can have your, your... Bring your kids down here, take a picture with Santa, take a picture in front of the Christmas tree. Uh, the Christmas tree is here, obviously, every night, but if you want to be part of the, the, the Santa uh, experience, that's Fridays and Saturdays. Also, the, the thing that's open every day is the ice rink. You know, again, just a little bit, uh, a block uh, east of, of, of here where we're on, on McDonald at Main and Center Street, right next to the, the city plaza and in front of the new ASU facility is a 9,000 square foot uh, ice rink. Woo. That's open every day, Monday through Friday from uh, 5, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on the weekends, it's noon to 10 p.m. And it's the most affordable place for your kids to have an ice skating experience. Ten bucks that gets you an hour on the ice and the and the, and the skates. Uh, and again, it's a big. It, it, it's bigger than it has been in previous years. So we really hope people will take advantage of that. Uh, there's uh, food trucks at, at Pioneer Park, the food uh, the food truck festival, I think they call it. Uh, and that's going to be uh, also on weekends. Uh, then that, that's very complimentary to going to the Christmas lights at the LDS Temple. So. And, and the temple uh, is, those lights are open every, every night as well. So uh, that's, you know, there's lots to do. And, and the thing is, these are all connected as well. So, and, and the light rail service is free in, in downtown during the holiday season. So oh, wow. come down and go to one and hop on the light rail and go to the other, or it's, it's really actually a pretty short walk between those things. Well, you guys have figured it out. That's fantastic. What, what a way to spend your evenings. It, well, in, in all days. honesty, it, it is, I think, really uh, one of the best places in the Valley to celebrate the holidays. I think it's probably the most affordable place in, in, the, in the Valley to celebrate the holidays. Plus, you get uh, ice skating in the desert. Who knew? So, Mayor, you obviously have uh, proven to us that Mesa is, is legendary with their Christmas holidays and how we entertain the masses 
during the holiday season. But there's this little story I keep hearing about by a gentleman named of John McPhee, and that's legendary as well. Can you give us yes. a little tease about that? Yes, this is a really fun and, and absolutely true story about uh, celebrating the holidays in downtown Mesa. It, uh, the, we call the story The Man Who Killed Santa Claus. <clears throat> and so it sounds a little creepy, but it's actually a, a really nice story. Uh, and actually for Channel 11 viewers, I think that we, we, we put this on in the Mesa Art Center the night that we lit the Christmas tree, back you know, the day after Thanksgiving. So, so this might be a story that is, is uh, somewhat familiar to folks who are watching Channel 11 right now. But this, here's how the story goes. Back during the Depression, uh, downtown Mesa was really a thriving economic center. I mean, this is where all of the stores were. This was the retail place, uh, you know, uh, the location for, for the valley. There was downtown Phoenix and downtown Mesa and not much in between. So uh, this was back during the Depression. And, and uh, so the economy was still struggling a little bit. So the downtown merchants figured they needed to come up with some sort of a promotion to get people to come to downtown Mesa to shop. Uh, and back then, uh, airplane, airplanes were kind of a new thing. You know, this was the whole Amelia Earhart, you know, era. And, uh, and so they thought, what would be cooler than having, you know, involving airplanes somehow? And they said, well, we'll have Santa Claus, we'll put a, a parachute on Santa Claus, have him jump out of one of these biplanes, you know, here over Main Street and come floating down to Main Street and all of the children will just be clapping and it'll be a big, big deal. So uh, sure enough, they, they, they advertised the event Children from far and wide, Phoenix, Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert wasn't a thing, but you know everybody in the valley was here on Main Street to watch Santa Claus jump out of an airplane. Uh, now the problem, the only problem was the only guy in Mesa back then who was crazy enough to agree to jump out of an airplane was also the guy that more often than not was passed out drunk, you know, on the street somewhere. Ooh. So sure enough, uh, that was the case. And, and he was inebriated and not capable of, <laughs> of doing the job. So uh, the merchants you know, had to come up with a plan B. And so the nice department store lady said, well, here's our mannequin. You know, well, let's put Santa Claus's costume on, <laughs> on the mannequin. And uh, the pilot can you know, throw him out of the airplane, pull the ripcord, and we'll just have somebody else you know, in a Santa costume you know, jump out from behind the bushes and, and uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. What could go wrong? What could go wrong with that? This is kind of a WKRP in Cincinnati moment, <laughs> isn't it? So uh, that happened. They threw Santa out, pulled the ripcord. Chute did not open. So all of the children of uh, Greater Maricopa County were assembled on the streets of downtown Mesa to watch Santa drop like a rock, you know, to plummet to his death. Wow actually. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. It, it actually was a traumatic experience for sure. the people, that, yeah. especially the children that were there. So uh, John McPhee, who was the downtown merchant you know, uh, guy at the time, he ultimately had to leave town. Uh, I think it probably had something to do with this event. He had went on to have a, a nice career. He was the mayor of Durango, Colorado at some point. But when he passed away, the obituary that they ran for John McPhee in the Mesa Tribune was the man who killed Santa Claus has died. Oh, so, man. So this wow. is a great story. It's a true story. Uh, it's one that we love to tell at Christmas time yeah. uh, because it, what it, the, the spirit behind it is that downtown Mesa has always strived to be uh, a great place to, set, to celebrate the holidays. Sure. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a killer story you got there. <laughs> But well, anyway, intended, huh? uh, well, thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> thank you for your time here. You bet. Thank you for uh, uh, Mary Main Street. Thank you for the wonderful Christmas tree. And thank you for everything that you do for the city of Mesa and its citizens. My pleasure. Thank you. Welcome, Tony. Good to have you in, thank on you, sir. Mesa Morning Live. I, I'm honored to be here. And uh, to all of you, thank you so much for watching today. And uh, please know that we want you all to have a very, very safe holiday season and wishing you all the best from the Mesa Chamber of Commerce and of course from Mesa Morning Live. Stay safe out there, have fun. See you next time.